in this short video I'm going to illustrate how to add a weld table to your isometric drawings just because I <laughs> took a little bit for me to figure out how to do it I um, just want to pass this along to everybody else and again this is plant 3d 2017 but this can be done in pretty much any version so first step is to go to the properties <clears throat> It takes a moment for that to fire up and then once that's loaded then you can come over here to your ISO style and I'm going to uh, monkey with one that I'd created called Pete test and if you come down to the title block and display this is where you can actually take a look at your title block and you can either put a new block in there or you can modify the attributes add different types of lists so to do that I'm going to set up the title block, but it is looking at a very specific template. And so it actually created an ISO.dwt inside my Pete test style. So you may want to review your isometric styles first and how you set those up and configure them. But once you do that, add and create a, uh, <clears throat> a weld list. And I've already put that in here, so I'll just kind of do it again. I'll, I'll blow this away and I will add both again but up at the top here you've got the ability to create a draw area no draw area and then you can uh, kinda set up the spacing for different lists so at the top this one's already using a bill of materials lists and a cut piece list and I want to add the weld list so I just kinda zoom in and you sort of you just trace out where you want this to be and so the the grid and snap settings can be useful down here sometimes the snap mode and then the grid spacing and so that's how you set up that weld list table and then just to make sure that nothing goes over the top of that to kind of keep it clean you could also define a no draw area that goes right over the top of that therefore the green will be <clears throat> where the model actually is and then this table will be down here and then that red no draw area will prevent any object from covering up the table. So that's really it in a nutshell. There's a lot of other things you can do, but since my goal is just really to create this weld list table, uh, that's the the methodology. Now, if you want to change the formatting of your tables, there is this table setup as well, and then you just find your table type, and then you can pick and choose different categories, different information that you might want to show inside of that. So just uh, get to explore that a little bit. But once we're all done, we'll go ahead and just uh, return to the project setup. It'll prompt us to save it. You bet. And then once it's saved, it brings us back to this area. You can always hit apply and OK. You can test it with a live preview if you want. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply and OK just to take the changes and then to exit the setup. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to produce uh, the production ISO again based on my style which I just added that title block. I'll do it for line one. Uh, there shouldn't be any in there but I'll overwrite them if need be and then I'll go ahead and hit create. Then I'll pause the video. Okay, after a few moments it created uh, my list here and then I can go ahead and either look at these here, created four of them, or I can come down here and I can click on this little bubble and look at my uh, ISO. So I'll, so I'll look at, uh, at this list here and let's look at the last one. It kind of split these up a little goofy based on uh, what I had set my style to do, but that's okay. But we can look at this fourth drawing and this will show that uh, weld list down here for this isometric so hopefully that helps and if you have any questions just let me know